So today, quantum stocks continue their momentum. I wanted to jump on because I wanted to share three stocks that I personally invest in that are $5 or less that I think are very interesting plays in the stock market at this point in time due to various factors. Those stocks are LAES, which is a quantum cybersecurity play. Then we have Big Bear AI, which is a US-based national security AI play. And then we have Airship, which I've never covered on this channel before, but saw 25% day yesterday, and they're actually now in the fives. So we're gonna look at charts for all these. So D-Wave, we saw on their website this morning that they have released their Advantage 2 system and made it generally available. And it's their most advanced and performant system to date. The stock has responded significantly. And we're gonna look at a few of those things. So first let's jump over to the quantum watch list. So we see that QBTS after it's, I, I just can't believe this. This stock was $5, $6 pre earnings. And I think we've touched $17 today. LAES, which is a stock we have covered, I believe is right on the doorstep of a bullish reversal. So we're going to look at the, the chart in real time today. I wanted to get this information to you as soon as possible. I do like to share my trades. Our chip fabricator for D-Wave is also up pretty handsomely from when we first started talking about Skywater and ARQQ reports earnings soon. The wider market is showing a little bit of, eh, I'm gonna wait around and just see what happens. There's some weakness. We have Google's IO conference. We're down about half a percent at the current moment. So let's jump into the chart for D-Wave, which this is truly an incredible chart. So let's just look at the last. So since earnings where D-Wave could be picked up for $6 a share, we've moved up 147%. Now, I do want to make a quick comment here that on this day, I pushed very hard <laughs> to get you guys the Murray Tom interview. So you had information during the trading day to make an informed decision. So for those of you who caught that interview and were able to add some more shares at this time, congratulations. If you're able to add more shares after earnings, congratulations. And to the shorts that are shorting this stock, it's been a bumpy ride and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. First, let's look at Airship because I've never covered Airship on the channel before. So what is Airship? Airship is an AI play. I have a lot of tech and AI plays in my portfolio and they have uh, not the best website here, but they popped 25% after their recent earnings. And I've been holding for about six months. So I'm flagging this for you all as a potential breakout. And here's what they, uh, they say in their earnings. I've gone in here and highlighted. So due to the sensitive nature of many of our customers and deployment use cases, we are often restricted from publicly disclosing awards and or limited as to the specifics of the customer and the use case. Consequently, most of our awards are executed on closed or restricted contract vehicles. I like the mystery of that. Uh, personally, they have a backlog as of March 31st was 2 million, but their total validated pipeline at the end of the quarter was approximately 135 million. So Airship, the future of AI, let's look at their products. So they have Outpost AI, edge-based encrypted recording and encoding of video, audio, and sensor metadata from a, a wide range of sensors. Okay, so I have the company profile open. We are a robust AI-driven data management platform that solves complex data challenges for large institutions operating in dynamic and mission-critical environments with rapidly increasing volumes of data. So a little, I, I love the blimp. I love the the uh, the ticker symbol is AISP. And let's take a look at the uh, overview on stock analysis. So Airship provides artificial intelligence and surveillance plat 
platform surveillance platforms for the US. The company offers Outpost AI and analysts forecast. There's two analysts that give this a strong buy with 61% upside. Let's take a look at the chart and and as always any time we talk about any sort of stock on the on this channel your uh one thing that I just want to make very uh clear is that I'm just providing information. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to invest in, but I do want uh, to share some of uh, my investments. And that doesn't mean that, that you should go out and just fo blindly follow. Uh, you need to do your own due diligence, set stop losses, do whatever you're comfortable with, whatever is suitable for your financial situation and your risk tolerance. I just needed to get that out of the way. Okay. So as we're looking at the chart here, Airship is having uh, some bullish action today. Uh, the stock is up 7%. So they had a, a big surprise on earnings and revenue as well. And this was trading prior to earnings at 396. And we have a made a move of four, 45%. Uh, which is a pretty crazy move. And, and as, as you saw at the start of this video, the tech is not like we're not ripping. Uh, well, actually, the queues are starting to uh, make a little intraday recovery. So uh, we're, we're still this is a negative 0.3% day so far for the NASDAQ. So these small cap stocks like airship can have a life of their own let's look at the all-time chart for airship so their all-time high was 14 bucks and they've sold off consolidated it does look clearly like there is a bullish reversal happening here for airship on strong earnings strong guidance and a decent pipeline so look into it if this is something you're interested in it's one of the investments i have sharing it with you all uh, just trying to provide value and information. Okay. So one thing we know is there's a trillion dollar Pentagon budget proposal. So this is the, the Trump administration has announced plans to request 1 trillion for Pentagon spending for FY 2026. Q, Big Bear AI, Palantir, Airship, any Castellum, any of these companies that are in defense and and artificial intelligence. Big Bear has done a lot with their website, uh, really has been improving. Um, and this is from even six months ago when I started investing in Big Bear. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. So what do they do? They do digital ID management, computer vision, productive intelligence, cybersecurity, AI orchestration. They're in Homeland Security, travel and trade, defense, intelligence. They're even in the healthcare industry. And Big Bear has shown in the last year that investors are very curious about what the stock could do. Now, in mid-February, we had a jump all the way up to $10 and then pretty aggressive sell-off. But as you can see from this blue line here, we're very far away from the rising support and we do appear to be on the cusp of what could be a bullish reversal. So this is kind of a tinderbox for these small cap companies. When I when I look at them and I think, wow, this company is really primed. One headline, one deal, one piece of good news, and Big Bear could really rip uh, to the upside. So we've marked a couple lines here, and this is how I'm playing it. Uh, I have. Uh, some call contracts at the three point five three dollars fifty cent strike to catch catch uh, <clears throat> anything above that. We also have fifteen contracts at the four expiring June six. So I'm very bullish in the near term on Big Bear, but that also looks like more and more of a risky trade as the days go by. So what's happening with Big Bear? if we get down to the five day is it's really been range bound between 351 and 383. The only break through 383 was when we jumped up on that explosion up to 440 
on the 14th, so maybe five trading days ago. So showing signs of life, but we really have to get through 383. Then we have to get through 390. Then we have to get through four. And then the idea would be four is used as support. We're going to need some sort of catalyst uh, for that to happen. Uh, I don't think it would just move up necessarily on its own. Let's look at the day. So the day price action so far is it's down 1%. But when you look at the last month doing quite well, it is up 60%. So you can't really be too too upset if you bought around this rising support around this $2. Uh, you've seen pretty incredible gains. And really the name of the game now is to break out of this channel for Big Bear. All right, and finally, our quantum cybersecurity play. So quantum is a super hot theme right now in the stock market. And LAES is one of the cheaper quantum stocks. So what I like about SEALs Q, which is ticker symbol LAES, is they're specifically talking about the quantum threat on their website. And they're providing solutions and building solutions for it. So as you can see, the, the in recently with NVIDIA's announcement, quantum has become more and more in the mainstream with NVIDIA making significant investments, with big tech making significant investments, and lots of these quantum companies doing really well in the open market. So they have quantum resistant solutions. They are headquartered in Switzerland and they work on semiconductors and quantum security solutions. So a uh, very interesting company and they're a wise key company. Let's take a look at the chart for Seals Q. So on the day, we actually open all the way up at 340. And I wanted to show you all the significance of this. So if we just look at the one day chart. So when we look back to the peak of the quantum frenzy, the stock was at $10 for just a moment and it was actually in the eight to $9. And it's been in a significant downtrend and it's consolidated and just kind of hung out around this $2 area and now what we're seeing is with the tailwinds of the rest of the quantum industry we're starting to see what could be a potential bullish reversal now i would want to see some confirmation of this bullish reversal so i think i'd want to see it get through four and 515 that would be a little bit greedy but if we could see LAES come up and then start using this 388.4 as support and just hang out in this channel and start building uh, position and support between four and five. That would be incredibly healthy for the stock. All right, you guys, that's three stocks, $5 or under that I'm personally invested in that I think have potential for growth in 2025. Hope you've taken some value out of this. If so, uh, please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Thanks. Have a good day.